All right, I did perform the bench test of this Beta FPV 1805 motor. And uh, this is courtesy of Beta FPV. I, I want to thank them much for saying this for review. I selected the 1550 kV version. They also have a 2550 kV version. And the reason that I chose the 1550 kV was because I wanted a very small, very lightweight motor that had plenty of torque to spin a larger prop. And um, after doing the bench testing, this definitely has all those capabilities. And as you can see, it has a prop adapter attached to it with an APC standard 7x5 thin electric two blade prop. And that prop has a five millimeter hub. I have been looking for a way to be able to mount non-T mount props to these motors because it is a it is a T mount motor. It has a 1.5 millimeter center shaft and takes T mount props. So I've been searching for a way to be able to mount standard props to one of those motors and I found this adapter from Great Plains. And it takes as input a 1.5 millimeter motor shaft and it gives you a three millimeter prop shaft. That's how I was able to mount those props. Any prop that has a, a three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter hub, as long as you have a spacer that will bring it down to three millimeters, you're good to go. Assuming that the prop is not so large and so tall, I would say about 10 millimeters in height on your prop hub is about as thick as you want to go for that adapter but I used everything up to an, an 8 by 3 8 slow fly prop on that adapter and it worked like a charm. There will be links to this in the show notes. There will be links to the motor in the show notes as well as the Beta FPV 2004 3000 kV motors because those are fantastic motors. These Beta FPV motors I think they're premium motors at a budget price. So take a look at them and take a look at this adapter. This opens up a world of possibilities for these T-mount motors, being able to use just about any prop that you want to. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring up my thrust data, and I, there will be a link to this PDF file in the show notes. You can download it if you want to. Um, one of the applications that I, I want to use this motor on is my Pioneer bush plane. And the largest, heaviest battery that I use in that, it's a 2S LiPo, the heaviest battery that I use in that plane is a 24, 25 gram LiPo. So the, the weight of the, the all up weight of the plane is only about 120 grams. If you look at the amount of thrust that this little tiny motor was producing on a 2S LiPo, with a 7 by 3 8 slow fly two blade composite props 240 grams okay well that's two to one thrust to weight ratio on that little pioneer the way i have it set up now with it with the stock motor is i have a six by three um, abs two blade prop on it and that produces enough thrust it's about a one to one thrust to weight ratio it will you can hover you can hover the plane with that prop but it will just hover it full throttle. It will not pull vertical with it. So with this motor and this prop, not only will it pull vertical, but it will be able to accelerate vertically. And it's going to be able to do that just pulling 5 amps. So if you look at that, 240 grams of thrust with that prop on a 2S LiPo pulling only 5 amps. It's also giving me 85 grams of thrust at 50% throttle. With the all-up weight of the plane at only 120 grams, I'm going to be able to cruise around with this at about 40% throttle. It's only pulling 1.2 amps at 50% throttle, so you're only looking at about 1 amp of power at cruising speed with that. And if you look at the efficiency of the grams per watt, it's 5.7 grams per watt at 100% throttle and 8.4 at 50%, so it's extremely efficient. But that's not the only prop. I'll show you what my pick was. I put the Jim Fan APC slow fly prop on there, the 8x3 ABS prop. It produced the highest amount of thrust on 2S at 280 grams, and it was only pulling 6.1 uh, amps to do that. And at 50% throttle, it was still giving me a 105 grams of thrust and only 1.4 amps of power. 
and then if you look at the standard that Jim Fan 8040 two blade ABS prop, it had the highest efficiency and it was my pick for this motor on, on a 2S LiPo because if you look at the amount of, of thrust, 258 grams, it's not that far off of the 8x38, but if you look at how many amps it was pulling, it's only pulling 4.5 amps. That's giving me 102 grams of thrust at 50%, and look at the efficiency on that. 6.8 grams per watt at 100% throttle, and 9.3 at 50% throttle. I mean, not only are you going to get a tremendous amount of thrust and performance from that little plane, I would say you're going to get you're going to get better flight time than you're getting with the stock setup on it. So I am going to test it out first with the APC 7x38 since it's a it's a smaller prop, smaller diameter prop, and um, I, I'll probably test it with the 8042. Now the Gemfan 8040 only has a three millimeter hub on it. So I didn't have to use a spacer at all because because this adapter has a three, three millimeter prop prop shaft on it. So I I was able to put that prop on there without even using a spacer. But all of them worked fantastic. And then if you look at the 3S, uh, the G standard Gem Fan two blade ABS prop gave me the highest efficiency. You know, 2.4 amps, 185 grams of thrust. If you want to use something like this on a on a micro plane, a sub 250 gram plane, you know, the, this is going to work out really well. This motor, uh, a lot of torque for the size of motor that it is. And if we we come on down and at the highest thrust, look at that, 460 grams of thrust with the with the exact same prop that I chose that was my pick on 2S, the 8x4. Gem Fan 8x4 ABS two blade prop, highest thrust 460 grams of thrust is only 0.8.3 amps, 50% throttle 188 at only 2.2 amps. Again, excellent efficiency. So that was my pick on on uh, 2S and 3S was the same prop, and then on 4S, um, the highest efficiency I had was with the Gem Fan 5126 two blade polycarbonate. Prop. That's a T-mount prop, but it's a T-mount prop that has a center spacer that can be removed. So you can use it on a T-mount motor, or you can use it on a standard 5mm uh, shaft on a motor, either one, so you get the best of both worlds. But that one had the best efficiency, and then my pick was the one that had the highest thrust, which was the Gem Fan 6026 two-blade polycarbonate. Same type of prop. And it has, it's a team out with a spacer. You can remove the spacer and it has a 5 millimeter prop pup. 450 grams of thrust pulling only 7.5 amps. So, yeah, so that motor is going to work out tremendously well, especially for the two applications that I know that I'm going to use it for. One is on the Arrows Pioneer. The other one, I want to use it as a single tractor motor on the next Cheetah 1 meter chuck glider that I convert. I want to put a folding prop and spinner assembly on that and um that adapter is going to allow me to do that guys so i got links to all that stuff in the show notes links to the motors links to the props um all the props that i used in the thrust testing also some additional props in there that i think would work extremely well um with that motor um the adapter that i used you really that adapter is fantastic, guys. I mean, it gives you so many more possibilities and props that you can use with those T-mount motors. So if you don't have one, pick one up because you're going to need it on down the road. I'll guarantee it. But anyway, all that information is in there. You can download this document if you want to. It's a PDF format. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.